All right, so this is the last video of today. I, I, I promise I'm actually going to bed right after this. But I had to make this because um, I think I may have found the answer to a, to an issue that uh, is going on with this Sony TV, the Sony X900H. So as you guys know, recently there was an update that added eARC and um, 4K 120 hertz to this TV. And if you guys haven't uh, seen, there's been people that's been having issues with blurriness with this update while connected to the PC. And they've shown examples to where, uh, like especially uh, in terms of uh, text, um, 4K 60 was way clearer than uh, 4K 120. And a lot of people are upset about this. A lot of people even canceling their orders for this TV or not ordering the TV anymore um, because it seems to be a big issue. But upon looking back at the update notes, there's actually a big possibility that this patch wasn't for the PC or maybe not even for the Xbox at all. If you look at the um, the patch notes, pretty much, they specifically say this is for compatibility with the PlayStation 5. Now, for the last couple months, Sony has been marketing this as the PlayStation 5 TV. And this update kind of came out of nowhere and kind of faster than um, people were expecting it based on what Sony, when Sony said it was going to come. There's a distinct possibility that this update really is what it says there and is targeted just at the, at the PlayStation 5. All of the issues, I believe, that we've seen of this... Uh, TV with the blurriness with at the 4K 120 hertz have all been connected to the PC. Sounds like this patch didn't have the PC in mind, and it might have been specifically for the PlayStation 5, which is launching in a couple weeks. So don't be surprised if the PlayStation 5 itself has no issues with this TV and blurriness and 4K 120 hertz. And it looks like uh, probably the other devices will be updated um, at a later time. Now, this could also be for the Xbox Series X too, but since you know this is a Sony product and their competitors, they probably wouldn't list the Xbox Series X in the patch notes. But there's a chance that this could specifically be for the PlayStation 5. There's a big chance. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section about this.